Did you know right now, under the immense pressure of the ocean's depths, giant data centers are quietly enabling your Netflix streams, housing your personal photos, and executing your Google searches in an environment so harsh no human could survive? It sounds insane, right? But it's real happening right now. Here is the untold truth about ocean-based data centers that are quietly rewriting the rules. To power, everything from your emails to artificial intelligence from deep sea, and it's happening faster than anyone expected. From Microsoft's secret underwater server pods coded in algae and barnacles, project named Natic, which proved that submerged data centers are up to eight times more reliable and 100 times more energy efficient. Thanks to the natural cooling power of ocean water to experimental AI-driven pods, which are being tested in Norway, Japan, and the UAE, and the race to claim the seafloor for computing dominance has already begun. The ocean water naturally maintains perfect temperatures between 2 to 4 degrees centigrade year-round, making cooling costs 100 times more efficient than traditional air-cooled facilities that burn through massive amounts of electricity, fighting desert heat and humidity, while underwater servers benefit from zero oxygen corrosion, no dust contamination, and complete isolation from human interference. Microsoft's underwater servers achieved a record-breaking 1.07 power usage effectiveness, outperforming land-based rivals. But here's the terrifying part. What happens when one of these deep-sea data centers fails? Imagine an earthquake or a tsunami or a high-pressure leak. How do engineers reach a server farm 200 feet underwater with zero margin for error? Maintenance isn't done with screwdrivers. It's done using robotic submersibles, AI-powered diagnostics, and even autonomous drones that monitor structural health in real time. These lights-out data centers run flawlessly for five-plus years without maintenance, sealed in, nitrogen-filled pods to avoid corrosion. And what about the logistics? Companies like Subsea Cloud are dropping 20-foot server-sealed pods filled with fiber optics, processors, and power modules are shipped by large, crane-lowered to the ocean floor and connected to onshore grids via subsea cables that stretch for miles. These underwater data centers reduce carbon emissions by 750 tons per year compared to land-based facilities, but marine heat waves and climate change are creating new challenges that could make or break this revolutionary technology that's secretly reshaping how the entire Internet infrastructure is built. But the real innovation is just beginning. Companies are exploring self-healing server architecture, deep ocean hydrogen cooling, and modular undersea data colonies that can scale with rising demand for AI, crypto, and cloud computing. The future is all about self-healing deep-sea servers powered by offshore wind farms, quantum encryption, and AI turning the ocean into the ultimate cloud. But with terrorists, sonar blasts, and marine heat waves threatening this billion-dollar tech, will underwater data centers sink or swim? Hit subscribe because the ocean's digital revolution is just getting started. Would you trust your data at the bottom of the ocean? Because the future of the Internet may already be underwater, and no one's telling you just how deep this goes. The trillion-dollar tech giants don't want you to know what is buried beneath ocean waves. While you're scrolling through TikTok and streaming Netflix, the world's biggest tech companies are quietly building data centers underwater because they have discovered something absolutely game-changing that could revolutionize the entire Internet as we know it. Leading the charge is Microsoft with its groundbreaking project Natic, which submerged a data center off the coast of Scotland and ran it successfully for two years, proving that subsea servers are eight times more reliable and up to 95% more energy efficient than land-based counterparts. China has gone absolutely insane and launched the world's first commercial underwater data center off Hainan Island, a 1,300-ton beast submerged 35 meters underwater that processes 4 million high-definition photos in just 30 seconds, equivalent to 60,000 traditional computers running simultaneously, aiming to establish a permanent network of deep-sea AI-powered data farms by 2030. Nautilus Data Technologies, a California startup, is already deploying waterborne and submerged data centers in U.S. 
and international ports, with clients including Department of Defense contractors. Meanwhile, Saudi Arabia's Eniom megacity plans to integrate submerged data units into its futuristic infrastructure powered by desalinated seawater and solar energy. Even Amazon Web Services has quietly filed patents related to submerged server cooling systems signaling what's next. Microsoft's Natic servers survived two years with zero maintenance in a nitrogen-filled pod. But why was the project discontinued? And what are they hiding from us? From Highlanders, $880 million Chinese mega facility, saving 122 million kilowatts per year, to military-grade submarine tech, repurposed for data storage, the ocean is becoming the next trillion-dollar cloud battleground. But why are all these companies diving deep? It's simple. The ocean offers natural cooling, lower carbon emissions, military-grade security, and endless scalability. These futuristic pods are being shipped, dropped, and connected via ultra-fast subsea fiber, monitored by autonomous underwater drones, are already reshaping how we think about cloud computing. While the $67 billion data center robotics market explodes with AI-powered automation, underwater facilities are revolutionizing ocean floor operations with ballast-filled triangular deployment systems that can install one 300-ton server pods 117 feet beneath, crushing ocean depths using specialized submarine logistics that transport entire data centers through complex underwater deployment sequences involving sealed nitrogen atmosphere containers designed to operate autonomously for years without human intervention. These underwater data centers are cooled by the ocean itself, powered by ocean-based energy infrastructure, and monitored by fleets of autonomous submersible drones. The robotic arms, performing live diagnostics, removing failed servers, and conducting real-time maintenance all, while battling extreme pressure, zero visibility, and freezing cold. These autonomous ocean engineers were already patrolling. Microsoft's Project Natick modules and prototype pods in the South China Sea. And the craziest part, these underwater data centers boost marine ecosystems, acting as artificial reefs for coral and fish, turning tech waste into ocean life havens. Here is the source for power. Energy innovations like tidal turbines, subsea hydrogen cells, and renewable marine grids are being tested to create self-sustaining ocean data farms. But the Logistics of transporting equipment to ocean depths require specialized vessels, underwater cranes, and robotic deployment systems that cost millions per installation. These massive sealed server pods are transported via barges lowered by crane and connected using ultra-durable fiber-optic subsea cables capable of transmitting petabytes of data at lightning speed. Once submerged, performance is tracked, 24 by 7 by AI analytics systems scanning every metric from thermal output to water salinity impact, ensuring these facilities outperform traditional land data centers in efficiency, security, and sustainability. On the other hand, tech giants like Meta, Microsoft, and Amazon race to build the immersive virtual worlds of tomorrow. The hidden backbone that could power it all is quietly being tested under the sea. The metaverse will require massive real-time data processing, low-latency streaming, and limitless scalability. And that's exactly what deep-sea server pods are engineered to deliver. With innovations like subsea fiber-optic connectivity, ocean-powered energy grids, and autonomous robotic maintenance, underwater infrastructure could soon become the ultimate engine behind your virtual reality life, NFT marketplaces, and AI-generated worlds. As underwater data centers rise, as the future of cloud computing powering everything from your Google searches to AI processing, a chilling question remains. Can they survive a tsunami or a cyber attack from inside the ocean itself? These submerged server pods like Microsoft's Project Natick and China's Highlander modules are engineered to endure high pressure, corrosion, and isolation. But what happens when a massive undersea earthquake triggers a tsunami? Could these ocean floor data hubs will be swept away, damaged beyond recovery, or even leak hazardous materials into marine ecosystems? And here's where it gets even darker. What if they are not attacked physically, but digitally? 
As nations explore autonomous underwater data farms, experts warn that deep-sea fiber optic cable and AI-monitored systems could become targets for stealth hacking, signal interception, or submarine-based espionage. Unlike land-based data centers, these submerged vaults are harder to monitor, harder to repair, and potentially easier to exploit. So, while the ocean might offer cooling and energy efficiency, it also hides vulnerabilities. No one's ready to admit. But here's the chilling truth. No one wants to say out loud, underwater data centers, while brilliant in design, may be hiding a ticking time bomb beneath the surface. As we celebrate their energy efficiency, cooling power, and space-saving potential, experts are quietly raising alarms about environmental risks, marine ecosystem disruption, and the total lack of regulation in deep-sea tech deployments. Imagine a server pod leaking toxic materials, overheating from power surges, or being hacked by AI-driven submarines all miles away from human reach. With companies like Microsoft, Nautilus Data Technologies, and Chinese state-backed labs expanding seabed infrastructure, we are entering a future where ocean floor surveillance, data sovereignty conflicts, and even weaponized server sabotage could become very real threats. And here's the scariest part. These data centers operate in silence. No public oversight, no backup, if they fail, and no clear plan, if something goes catastrophically wrong. So now it's your turn. Smash that like button. If this opened your eyes, subscribe for more exposed truths. Big Tech won't tell you. And comment below. Do you trust the Internet's future to rest at the bottom of the sea, far from human hands and beyond your control? because what's out of sight might soon be out of our reach entirely.